What up my dogs, welcome to more Ultimate Champion Ladder. Now today I wanted to talk about what university was like because I went for one semester and it was looking great. I was studying digital design. I did digital design purely because I wanted to get good at thumbnails and I wanted to get good at making them so I could do good YouTube thumbnails. By the way, this guy's not making a play, so I'm just gonna go Tombstone. And my classes were crazy. One of my classes was purely a drawing class. Like, I am... It was just, like, actually hand drawing. And I am awful at drawing. I have no idea why I was put in this class. And I was... I was sat next to these babes, man. The whole class was girls. It was gonna be great. I don't know what happened, man. And so... One of the classes was all girls. It was amazing. They were helping me draw. Another class was this, like user design class or something it was like we had to we had to like i don't know do some presentation on something i can't even remember what it was like learn how to present ideas and that class was full of indian men 40 year old indian men so i was definitely the youngest in that class it was very strange and then there was another class where it was just a room full of people who were very passionate about what they did and they were all best friends with the teacher it was a i will describe to you what the room looked like okay so in this class it was we were designing an app for the government and the app i came up with was an app that shows which parking bays are available when events are on around the state so you can see which places or which areas you can go parking and how many slots are free and i don't know maybe there'd be some sensors in the car parking bays that will tell you which cars can go where or which spaces are free and this room was dark all the blinds were shut there were no lights on it was just a bunch of computers and all the kids sat next to each other they're all they're not really kids but like they're around a few years older than me at the time i was like 18 and they all sat together they all loved each other they were all friends with the teacher and they're all passionate sat at the same table and then there was just me and this one asian kid who didn't really speak much english didn't say many words and he was just sitting in the corner next to me and it was just the worst thing ever. I remember when I was in that class, I was thinking, I would rather do absolutely anything on earth rather than this. This is awful. And that goes for the, the drawing class with the, all the girls, which may be hard to believe, because I, I just knew this wasn't my calling. Like, why am I trying to do something I suck at? I genuinely suck at it. And so I obviously regret leaving the girl class because it was full of girls, and that was my one opportunity for a wife, which I'm never gonna get back. But for the other classes, I don't regret it at all. Come on, can we take his tower here? That would be absolutely divine. And so obviously I had to drop out because I wanted a YouTube. And my philosophy, I remember I had a talk with my friend in his car one time. I was like, I would literally rather do anything else than this. I would rather do what I want to do and be broke for the rest of my life than do anything else. And it was such a trek to my university as well. I had to drive for like an hour or like 40 minutes. And I just, I just, it was so bad. I hated every minute of it. I had to wake up early and resented what I was studying. And I just hated every aspect of it. So when I had these talks with my friends and I said, I'd rather be broke doing what I was doing. That's partly why I learned about YouTube and I made sure that I was gonna be successful. And I, I remember when I started first having my bit of success on YouTube. Oh my God, how did that connect? I remember when I first started having, oh my God, why does he have eye drag? Uh, I, I, was, I remember having another discussion with my friend being like, I feel like I'm so close. I just need to make a bit more money and I can do this full time. And then we did it. Now we're here, which is cool because I really didn't like what I was doing. But like I said, I would have been happy doing it broke. Um, but yeah, like the, I would say my favorite thing about university was the, was just like, it's such like a community, you know, you can join any, you can join the art society, the drama society, the, of course he's got Lava Hound. You can join the tech group. You can join, join the hula hooping f f society. I don't know. There was a part for everyone and everyone fit in. Everyone was very friendly and you had freedom. And it, it's, it's very much, I would say, um, in, in, in films, I guess, is university is very much, it's painted like this really fun part of your life where you're partying and everything's awesome and everything's great. And it is, it's really great, but you have to enjoy what you're studying. And I wasn't there for that. And so I had to drop out and okay, this is my one chance to connect because I do not have a chance of getting through the Inferno Dragon with a Lava Hound. Come on. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're gonna go like this. And that's not gonna respawn. Oh my god, that was looking so promising. He's got both my ta- He's BMing me as well. 
How am I going to bounce back from this? Okay, so he's going to go Lava Hound. You know what? I'm just going to go with this because it's going to pull the balloon. But yeah, I actually really liked university and it felt disappointing to miss that part of my life. And I felt like I was skipping a chapter in my life by not going. Okay, by the way, how on earth? Okay, so he's going to take the fireball value there. I actually gave him way too much value. You know what? I'm going to go with this so I get the, uh, I get the souls from the arrows. And then I'm going to go with this. And okay, I need to go for an ability here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with this. Okay, and then come on, this is my one chance. And he's got arrows. Oh. Another reason why I left my university was because I felt like I was learning nothing. Like, the campus was great. The people were great. It was fun. You know, I felt like it was a lifestyle and I could have really gotten into it, especially if I lived on the campus, which I didn't, which probably took away from the experience. But I just felt like everything I was learning was so basic and I was paying a fortune. I was getting into debt. And I was like, I feel like I can teach myself this stuff. It's very basic. Like, I understand if you're going for medicine or something, you obviously can't teach yourself how to be a doctor well, you probably can but it's just a lot more difficult and it's much better to go for a course but for me i don't know learning how to design stuff i don't know i just i definitely felt like i could do it my own way and so that was another thing i felt like i was losing my okay this guy just raged but he barely missed the skeleton so i think we're all good i feel like i was wasting my time i feel like i was wasting my money and it makes sense i mean digital design Obviously, I suck at drawing, but I don't even know what career I was going for with that. Like, am I going to be some kind of digital artist for a game? I mean, when I was younger, I actually, because I played Clash Royale and Clash of Clans, I loved Supercell. And my goal was to work for Supercell. That's what I really wanted to do. Believe it or not, I could have been the game dev that everyone hated. That could have been me. But unfortunately, that dream didn't pan out because YouTube was more alluring and sounds better in every way. Okay, is he going to go split lane and just trade towers here? I think he is yep okay so i'm gonna go like this and hopefully okay sparky you need to shoot the skeletons not the tombstone he's gonna shoot the tombstone of course it is okay you know what i'm gonna go with this we might be able to get the ability off here oh that is a clutch up <laughs> oh my god we're actually gonna be able to take his whole push down without taking any damage I would go minor there, but I feel like I might be a bit aggressive with the King Tower activated. Oh, wait, we still had the Lava Hound. Okay. No, we're in a great position right now. Let's just choke, because why not? So if I go Lava Hound, he rushes. I might be dead, but I feel like we're up a bit of Elixir. Oh, he's going to go Sparky in the back. But yeah, University can be a lot of fun. I feel like the one movie I thought about when I was thinking of University being a lot of fun was 21 Jump Street. Oh, God. Oh, dear God. I feel like 21 Jump Street made University look so fun to me. Okay, he's going to go with a Rage. That was the slowest reaction timing I've ever seen. And that, my friends, is a G... Oh, never mind. It's not over yet. Okay, so I'm going to go with a Phoenix. Wait, it is most definitely over. <laughs> His other tower is completely gone. I can just go for a Tombstone here. Miner in the back. And that is going to be a GG, my dogs. Easy claps. So, yeah. I didn't really get into too much depth. It's kind of hard to remember because it was... It was actually like four years ago oh my god it was four years ago or something when i went to uni i remember i was very excited to get into uni but then obviously it didn't pan out three crowns for days thank you for watching my choppers quick little story time if you enjoyed make sure to smash a like i've never said that make sure to subscribe that's something i haven't said and i'll see you later